Good morning everyone. I hope you guys are all having a blessed week. Uh, mine's going pretty good. I feel real good. I'm back to 100% so I'm able to get out and do everything I need to do. I want to talk about news overload. People listen, I quit watching most news. I consciously made a decision that I am not going to watch the news. Because number one, you don't know who's telling the truth and you don't know who's lying. And even Fox News, I believe that they are the controlled opposition. And, and I just, I had to make a choice that, you know what, I see a good headline and I want to listen to it. And I said, no, all it's going to do is upset me. We know that uh, very evil people are running the show. People that are evil and clueless are in charge of everything. Look at this White House press secretary. How many of you have ever watched the White House press secretary, Jin Psaki, answer questions for the White House press corps? This lady is a paid liar. That's what she is. She is an absolute paid liar. Can you imagine getting paid to lie? If she was Pinocchio, she'd kill somebody with that nose. This is what it says in Proverbs 29.2. It says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. People, that's where we're at in America. The wicked are bearing rule and the people, I mean, we're just, we're just getting hammered by all the things that Biden's doing. You know, with grocery prices skyrocketing and gas prices and everything else. But listen, I believe that the goal, I believe that their goal is to destroy the middle class of the United States. That's what I believe their goal is. And I also know that we're living in the end times and the end times are unfolding all around us. There's nothing we can do about it and it's gonna get a whole lot worse, a whole lot worse. The goal is total and absolute control. That's the goal. The last two years with this uh, pandemic has been all about control. I don't know how many of you watched what went on over the last two years in Australia, but you know, several years ago, I think it might have been 10 years ago, they had this massive buyback campaign and they took all the guns from the people of Australia. And now, this last two years, those people have been under lockdown. There's, there's instances where people have been caught walking out of their house without a mask on and went to jail. I mean, it's horrible in Australia. Plus now we have where the governments protect the evil and persecute the good. That's going on all around us. The governments are protecting the evil and persecuting the goods. All these riots that we had in all of our major cities, in Portland, in uh, Seattle, San Francisco, the police were told to stand down. The rioters went through and just looted stores up one street and down the next and the owners couldn't do anything. They would call the cops, the cops would say, just leave your store, leave it to them. They protect the sinner and persecute the good. That's what they do. This is what it says in Isaiah 5, 20 and 21. It says, Woe to them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. We see this in every single aspect of American life right now, where good is evil and evil is good. Not only that, they're trying to shove their perversion down our throats. I don't know how many of you saw this just the other day. I think, what, Monday or Tuesday? They showed the woman of the year. The person that won woman of the year. This is the best, most talented woman in America. Yep, a transvestite. 
some cross-dressing tranny man won woman of the year. And then did you guys watch all that, any of that swimming competition? I forgot where it went on. But uh, the gold medal was won by that trans dude that identifies as a woman. He's twice the size of every woman on the team, and he won the gold. They're doing this. They're shoving this stuff down our throat so that one day we will accept it as normal. That's the goal. You have to accept this as normal. Good is bad, bad is good. In California where I live, any counselor, any counselor in any field of mental health, if a gay person comes into that office, it is illegal for them to tell that person about Jesus or to say to that person, well, you know what you're doing could be morally wrong. That is absolutely illegal in the state of California to tell that person that what they're doing is wrong. This is what it says in Proverbs 29, 27, and this literally explains the world we live in. It says, an unjust man is an abomination to the just. And he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. People, the wicked hate the good. They hate us. They hate us because we represent everything they're not. We represent light. And they love darkness so much, they don't want to be around light. They do not want the light exposing their darkness. People, listen. We are living in the absolute last days. Very, very dark days lie ahead. This is my advice to you. Quit watching the news so much. If the news upsets you, quit watching it. We're in the end times. Things are going to unfold exactly how they unfold, and there's nothing that we're going to do to change it. And number two, you can't trust any news source. You can't, you can't trust anything. It's, we live in a world of lies. Satan is the god of this world, and he's the father of lies. So this is what you need to do. You need to just sit back and watch it all unfold. That's, that's the key. Sit back and just watch it all unfold. Be about the Lord's work. Be about the Lord's work. Your ministry. Be about the Lord's work. Don't concern yourself with the approaching evil. Don't concern yourself with how dark it's going to get. Because this is one thing that you need to always remember. In the end, we win. In the end, we win. Anyhow, I just want to give you something to think about. Heaven or hell you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.